Uh, what about the Dodgers? Again, it's going to be the Padres and the Dodgers head to head. We showed you a quick glimpse of this. There he is, Shohei Otani, one of the top five hitters in baseball. Even if he's not pitching, he's going to be doing some dangerous things at the plate with that elite offense. Let's listen into some of the elite Dodgers now. Yeah, it's the first time hitting outside ever since that I got that oblique injury, so I was being a little careful, but overall I felt really good, and all the swings I'm taking inside the cages, they all feel good and strong, so I think we're past the oblique part. Yeah, I was planning on, like I said earlier, kind of swinging on the lighter side, but I felt the swings were feeling really good, which is a really good sign, so I think it's, it's trending towards me being ready for opening day. We've had some really good teams here and some really good prime, some guys in their prime here, and we hadn't, uh, hadn't done it, so no matter what team we roll out there, we got to go play. You know, I went 0 for 11, and we had the same, you know, a really good team last year, so if I don't show up, it doesn't matter. Not, not just me, but all of us, just got to say. If we don't show up, we're, we're going to lose. I had, don't really have an experience uh, throwing on the short rest, and then, but that I did everything I could do uh, to pr uh, preparation in terms of preparation, uh, uh, mechanics, adjusting mechanic, and then um, a lot of different other things. Yoshinobu Yamamoto will get the start in that two-game series. This is from the LA Times. The plan for Yamamoto to start a, a game in the season opening two-game series against San Diego and South Korea, according to people familiar with the uh, under the condition of anonymity. What are you? This, this, oh, this is top secret. Oh here. my goodness, we this can't is, possibly say yeah. we spent three hundred million dollars for this guy. We might have him pitch in the opening series in <laughs> Asia. Hmm, <laughs> shocker. By the way, I like Shohei Otani talking almost every day. I don't know, like Greg Emzinger out here is always yeah. like, yo, come on, get Shohei Otani and be there. But I'm with that. I love hearing uh, through a translator, whatever. I want to hear from Otani every day. He's the face of the team. He, he may be the face of MLB. Yep. So you want to be able to hear right. what he has to say and his perspective on this Dodgers team. And we understand he's not going to be pitching. So I need to know what you're thinking at the plate. Besides that, I like the idea that now the Dodgers have now strengthened that rotation, right? That was the biggest question mark. But to me, now you've also brought in the hitters to to help supplement with Otani. You bring in Otani. Also, Teoscar Hernandez was a big question mark for the Dodgers out there in the outfield. So bringing in these guys to stack up the lineup, just like the Braves have, and I look at – that's who you're competing against, right? In the National League, you're looking at the Braves. How can we be a better roster than the Braves? I think they did that this can, offseason. Can this offense carry our pitching staff for the first part of the season when we're not sure exactly what we're going to get? And I think that's what the Dodgers tried to answer. At early on, it's going to be Yamamoto. There's going to be some question marks around him. At Despite the fact that he looks phenomenal and may be phenomenal, it's going to be a tough adjustment period. And then you've got Glass now, who, you know, pitched reasonably well. A little bit of ups and downs last year coming back oh, from he injury. Pitched, he pitched well. Well, there were some ups and downs in there. He, I think he pitched well in the last couple of starts that he made. But there were some ups and downs in his – which you expect. I'm not saying – you expect that. So, coming into this season, I don't – are you going to get that right out of the gate? Are there going to be some ups and downs? Of course, there certainly could be. And then from there, uh, Bobby Miller, still young. We saw great things from him great last stuff. year. Could be awesome. Uh, we don't know exactly where we're gonna, what we're going to get from the rest until guys like, you know, Kershaw and, and those the reinforcements. Walker Bueller, is he going to be ready to go right out the gate? We don't know. So this offense has to kind of carry it to your point, and I think they did a really good job of enforcing that. Look, they um, last year when they took their foot off the accelerator, so let's just refresh, not, re, not rebuild, but let's just refresh. Take a step back, start some rookies, have some rookies in our rotation. Let's not spend a lot of money. They still won easy. Mm -hmm. They won that division easy. Now the foot is on the accelerator. And how good can Yamamoto be? Take a look at some of uh, you can even look at his ERA, what he did in Japan, or compare to some of the better Japanese pitchers over the last 10 years. We've seen some outstanding performances, right. and not just from the high-end guys that later became superstars. Yeah. Iwakuma, Hisashi Iwakuma of the Seattle Mariners a few years ago. All right, we'll start with this. Yamamoto, look at this production Stupid that he has Yamamoto. done. This is a three-time <laughs> MVP for the last three years. A 139, a 168, a one, two, one. All right, now take a look at some of the pictures of recent vintage from Japan. And I think what we're seeing, correct me if you if you want to disagree with me on this, because here's Yu Darvish who had a 2 8 3 in 28, 2013, over 200 innings. Hisashi Iwakuma, I thought he could have won a Cy Young that year, 2013, unheralded for Seattle. Uh, and of course, Tanaka, a superstar. And Kodai Senga last year, for a slow start, ends up with a 2 9 8 ERA, 166 innings. And I'm thinking, besides Otani, Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. I think Japanese pitchers more than ever 
are ready to go in the United States. I, from what I saw in the WBC, I thought, whoa, this is different, even from what we saw five, ten years ago. Yeah, I think WBC was evidence of that. But also look at the transition seems to be a little bit easier for these guys. And I would argue that Yamamoto's transition might be better having a Shohei Otani on this team. But you see his stuff. Like, we've seen what he's done in Japan. It's going to equate to excellence here in the United States because he throws a lot of strikes and he strikes a lot of guys out, but also knows how to get weak contact. Sometimes you get guys coming over trying to strike everybody out. To me, I think getting the weak contact using the Dodgers defense is going to be just as important for him. And he doesn't have to feel the stress of being have to, having to be the guy every time because now the rotation is a little bit better, bringing in a Tyler Glass now as well. Yeah, I think there is, to your point, BK, a little bit of a smaller adjustment period because of the technology we technology we have nowadays in the game. These guys are able in, you know, whether it's whether it's in Japan, whether it's in the MPB, or if it's over here, wherever it is, it could be in the Dominican or Venezuela, they have the ability to watch themselves and look at themselves in a different way mm. and see their mechanics and really study it and know what they need to do and how to correct things and 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 to get the most out of their body and I think that's what we're seeing now and that's what's going to help uh, guys like uh, Yamamoto uh, adjust easier over here and to your point about Otani He's been through this. He's gone through these adjustments. He's going to be able to see what Yamamoto is doing from a different lens than any of us and be able to help him figure out, okay, this is what you can do. This is an adjustment you can make to correct this or that and get yourself back on track. That's an excellent point. I hadn't thought of that, Anthony. That Right, the technology there, it's, just, it's universal now yes. around the globe. But, uh, well funded Japanese teams can look at this and you can make those improvements. Because in the WBC, I was like, is everybody like popping 99? Yes. Is everybody <laughs> stuff that's, exploding that's in and out? It's unbelievable. And that Yamamoto, yeah, they are. Yeah. That's yeah. why we're right here. Exactly. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Yamamoto was at the forefront of all that. All right.